video update on the dyno build. I um I went ahead and because of the last test, I had to work on my RPM input a little bit, which I got that figured out. And it's still a little spiky, but not nearly as bad as it was. Now I think it's just either software or I need to rewrite how quickly it updates because it updates it's like 10 or 15 times a millisecond sorry 10 or 15 times a second anyway so I went ahead and I um, on the air actuation issue I had I have a little electric um, tire inflation pump uh, pretty much what you buy at Vance or AutoZone for an emergency kit, you'd plug it into a 12 volt cigarette lighter and then have a hose out for putting air in your tires. So, I've had that thing since I, oh, probably 10 or 12 years now. Back when I was in the blow through game, we um, used to modify carburetors for blow through act activation and then do a boost reference power valve setup that took air pressure to work and we hooked those to a hob switch and then um, whenever you got above a certain boost it turned on and apply the pressure you needed. So anyway, I had it left over from those days so I just used that and plumbed it into a T and then a T into the unit. I have the unit zip tied now to the side of, because everything's kind of just for testing purposes right now, I didn't want to make anything permanent. So I have the brake line zip tied to the unit and then it's going right into the caliper. Now on that T I have coming off of it I have an EVAP player solenoid and that is wired with a diode protection you can see underneath the electrical tape right there to my Arduino. Now a second Arduino, Arduino Uno. Um, I tried to make everything on one board and I'm pretty sure you could but for the fact of getting a fine or find adjustable enough I had what I did was I went and um, took a second uno or an uno and put a potentiometer on it for a knob and then what it does is it uh, trans it has a um, variable pulse width modulation kind of like a boost controller so and what that does is a pulse width modulates the um, the evap solenoid to Oh, on and off, on and off, on and off to regulate the air pressure going to the brake caliper so I had a nice smooth apply. Then everything else is on the Arduino Mega which is exactly the same as my prior videos. Um, coming up you're going to see I made a test run of this and it worked pretty good. I did go a little too far on that knob and it did stall the engine out but um, it is major progress. Next up is going to be automating everything. Once it sees it gets the engine above a certain RPM, um, it'll activate the, the, the test. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet for that. I'm still trying to plan that out. But that's where we're at right now. And I made my first dyno run um, before the thing stalled out. And every time the brakes grab so hard that they, it stalls the motor out, it, it spikes everything. So you'll see on the... Um, on the dyno graph that it went to like, I think it was like 30 or 35 pounds, it was not making that. It was just the inertia from everything once the brakes applied, applying the inertia momentum along with the engine momentum onto the load cell. So you will I mean, just take that into consideration whenever you look at the graph it wasn't making 30 pound feet in like 20 horsepower. It averaged on the dyno run it averaged I think at the top part of the run was like five and a half horse and seven pound feet of torque or six pound feet of torque which is pretty much it's a five horse Kawasaki motor it's what you'd expect so I'm pretty sure the, the unit's accurate um, I still need to work on getting an RPM input also from the engine itself into the Mega that's still happening but I really wanted to test to make sure everything's going to work properly before I continued on because I figured if I was wasting my time, I'd go backtrack and figure out what I need to fix and go from there. But I had a successful run tonight. Um, up, as I said, up, upcoming video is going to be of the run. And that should be it. And as I said, coming up, probably the next video is going to be with automa automated testing. And then I'll be going from there. But very, very happy with the results right now. 
Um, everything worked as planned and once I get the automated t testing figured out and underway to where I it does the brake apply automatically and it's not a human you know me trying to variate the load using a potentiometer it's all automated it's going to be a repeatable setup which is what you want for a dyno and then at that point you can just put in different curves for different engines like once I supercharge this engine or go EFI or whatever if it's making a lot more power I can just change the automation curve it will change the brake apply automatically and that way I don't like drive through the dyno as people say when you're a uh, dyno operator so. so anyway thanks for watching and here is the dyno in action <laughs>